Good day, and welcome to another Sydney Stock Exchange episode of Market Movers. Joining us today is Tony Chung, Managing Partner of Squire Batten Pogs' Perth office. Good evening, Tony. Hi, hi, Jenny. How are you? Tony, very well, thank you. An absolute pleasure to have you on the show. And look, to get us started, can you tell us a bit about Squire Patton Boggs? So Squire Patton Boggs is a, a global law firm. Uh, and in Australia, we have offices in Perth, Sydney, and in Darwin, we have 45 offices around the world. It's a major law firm. Um, it's a corporate law firm, and um, uh, we, we act in all, all, all areas safe in criminal law and family laws. Thanks, Tony. And uh, tell me, what sets Squire Patton Boggs apart from your, uh, your peers and competitors? Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, we like to think that we are, you know, we are great lawyers. And by that, we mean that, you know, we, we are, we're there to really help clients and, and understand their business. Our byline is um, local connections, global influence. So we are, in a sense, we, we want to be able to service and help locally, domestically. But to do that, we also tap our international experience and network. And that's the key. That's the key to our business. Patton Boggs are also a sponsor of the Sydney Stock Exchange with yourself and Josh Walsh recently leading the AHP Limited IPO on the SSX. Uh, can you tell me about your experience of working with the Sydney Stock Exchange? Uh, the exchange, the Sydney Stock Exchange is an, it's an interesting one. Uh, I think uh, working with the, the Sydney Stock Exchange has been uh, an eye-opener and, and quite refreshing when compared to other exchanges. Uh, I say that not in a flippant way, but in a genuine way uh, as, as, as well. Uh, the, the thing that sets it apart is, yes, we understand there are listing rules. We understand there are corporations that matters. We understand the regulatory framework and the need to make sure that you know the law is complied with and the company is suitable for, for listing purposes. So that's all given. But what's important throughout the listing process is the hand-holding that, that's given by the City Stock Exchange. Uh, to us as sponsor, to us as legal advisors, and to to our clients, uh, the companies. At the end of the day, you know the exchange is there for those companies, and I'm there for the companies. So if we can all work together to guide the companies through this whole process. You know, a, in the less I guess problematic ways you can you can imagine, as stress stressful through the whole process, um, in a timely fashion um, that saves costs, that saves angst, and, and all that. That's the key, and that's my experience during the AHP process. I've been able to talk about some of your recent pro bono work. I've seen your name mentioned with the hashtag lawyers make a difference. Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, um, just give for, for, for those who don't know, uh, lawyers make a difference. It was, um, um, it's a, it was a campaign done by the Law Society in Western Australia, really to profile um, um, lawyers um, and the work that they do. You see, I, I, it's quite common that uh, everyone thinks that, you know, the lawyers are sharks and, and all that. I like to think that myself is not a shark, but a, a shark with a heart at the same time. Um, part of the campaign was just to to show to the community, demonstrate to the community the amount of work, the constructive work and the beneficial work that lawyers actually do for the community, uh, pro bono-wise or, or, or otherwise. Um, a lot of times when you do the kind of pro bono work, uh, it's unsaid, it's unrecognized and all that. But that's fine. Lawyers do that not for those, those reasons. That's the whole nature of pro bono work. But the now amount of, of time and effort that's been put in by lawyers to actually guide non-profit sectors, the community sectors and all that, they, they do count. At the end of the day, they do count. They do make a difference. And so that's the campaign that was was done. And and I was um, fortunately, unfortunately, one of the profiled lawyers uh, as one of those you know, campaigns, so to speak. And uh, I'm very proud of that campaign. Thank you, Tony. And so you should be. Uh, you know, last question for today. Uh, are you able to talk about any future plans for Squire Patton Boggs? Well, we would like, as a firm, we would like to continue to grow and to be able to help uh, clients more, right? Um, it's given that that you know our, our offices in Australia our operations will grow uh, internationally, will grow. I mean that's that's given as part of part of business. But what we want to do as well is the to increase our connections uh, increasingly with Asia. I'm the head of Asia desk for 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 Pattern Box as well for, uh, in Australia, and and to work with partners like the Sydney Stock Exchange to help our clients 
more and more. I really appreciate you joining us today. Uh, look, if anybody would like more details about Squire Patton Boggs, please refer to the Sydney Stock Exchange's website uh, within our list of market sponsors for uh, contact details and websites uh, of Tony's firm, Squire Patton Boggs. Tony, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.